Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. Today this video is going to be super excited because today we will be talking about a brand new file explorer for Windows 11. Yes, but this explorer is not from Microsoft, however, it is very lightweight and very easy to install. There is no complicated process involved and believe me guys, this is very lightweight and will not make your system super heavy, clunky and bulky. So without ado, let's get started. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we need to press Windows button. Now here we will be typing store. Now just click on Microsoft Store. And here you need to search for Files app. I'm going to type Files app. And now click on it. If you couldn't find it, don't worry guys, I will provide you the link of this application in the description of this video. Now uh, we will also talk about the value that it provides over the default file explorer. So let's click here on get. So when we click on get, the windows start downloading it and will eventually install in our system. Now here we can see. The windows have successfully downloaded and installed this application to our windows system. Now we will click on open. So here we go, we can see our brand new explorer for windows 11. Now here you can see in terms of looks, it looks quite similar to the default windows explorer. Let me open the default windows explorer and and I will show you by keeping them side by side. So here is this PC. Let me keep it here. And this is our brand new Explorer. Now uh, we are at home here. Now, I can't see this PC option. But I believe it relates to the same. Here I am seeing home. And in Windows Default Explorer, which is on the left, I can see this PC. Okay, so here we can only go inside one folder and uh, we can perform one task at a time. However, here in this new application, we can open C drive. Also, I can open a new tab and I can access D drive as well together. So no need to open another file explorer like this because this new application of file explorer comes with tab browsing feature which is quite awesome i would say okay so what else come with this file explorer let's click here on settings and now here we can see a bunch of customization options for example the first one is choose your color so we can either go with the light theme or maybe the dark theme so based on your preference you can choose anyone also, here we can see the custom theme option. Let's click on it. And here we can see a bunch of themes available. So based on your taste or how you want it to look like, you can customize it. Also, we have got this sidebar option. Let's click on it. And here we go. We can further customize it, you know. So let's say if you do not want to show favorite section on the sidebar, you can enable or disable it. Similarly, you can enable or disable library section. So just I have enabled it. Similarly, you can play with these settings and can customize based on your taste. Now let's close it. And here if I click on preferences, here we can see if you want to change the language, you also have an option to change language. Let me turn this thing into Hindi, which is my mother tongue. I'm going to click on Theek hai. So here we go, you know, this file explorer now have Hindi font instead of English. So again, let me go back and choose English. Okay, so in this way, you know, you can set your favorite font. In case of normal toolbar, the thing that I didn't like in Windows 11 is this show more option. The reason why I didn't like it because if I click here on show more option then only I can have 
you know many other useful options available so which is like i'm going to make one more click if i want to perform seven zip operation in it however here in this case if i click here i can see more option but let's say i don't like this style i always have option to disable it for that i will click here on setting and i will turn this move overflow items to sub menu off now here you will see the complete menu is available with 7-zip so i am super excited and happy with it therefore i do not need to go to so more option and eventually will save one click and my time as well really you know clicking on so more option is very frustrating okay now here also you can see all the features you know cut copy paste rename delete and info is already available however if i compare it with the default button here we can see only four options are available now let's say you want to enable preview pane so how easy it is just you need to click here on toggle preview pane and in just one click you can uh, enable or disable it so it is very easy similarly if you want to enable checkbox so you can do that so here you can see that you have all the functionality available of the stock file explorer on the top of it you are getting really great features inside now let me just quickly show you one more cool feature that doesn't exist in windows so let's go back here in c drive so let's make a right click and go to layout mode and here we have this column layout so just click on column layout and here we go now just select any folder and you will see the subfolder inside that folder then you can click that subfolder and you can go inside sub subfolder so in this way you know guys it looks quite awesome and i'm going to prefer this option which is currently not available with default windows explorer if you want to set this application to your taskbar then what you can do uh you need to click here on windows and here just search for files now select this one not this one because this is the default file explorer now i will just select it and make a right click now here you will see this option which says pin to taskbar just click on it and now you can see it here now what i will do i will unplug it or unpin it and in this way you know you can set it here so what else we can do is we can go to app setting and here we can run it as login also let's click here on configure startup task and here we can define like which task we want to open or not now let's go back and now click on it so in this way guys you can give your file explorer a new life okay so one more thing that i forgot to mention that you can also customize this home screen you just need to click here on manage widgets from here you can enable disable you know any particular widget that you wish not to have or wish to have so in this way you can even customize your home screen apart from that here we have furthermore option i will also talk about some of experimental feature so for that let me just open the c drive and here again i will go to settings now let's go to experimental and here we have got this enable file tags so if i enable it here you will see uh, let me just turn this layout mode to uh, tiles and here we can see the tags now what you can do actually you can add tags to any folder or file let's say i want to make it uh, you know orange tag so in this way guys we can even add tags to a folder or file which i would say is pretty awesome the last feature i'm going to talk with you about is the file size if you're going to click here back in setting and in experimental if you're going to turn this feature on in this way guys you can also check like which folder is occupying how much space that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you find this video helpful if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then bye bye